welcome to this gathering. We have a very rare opportunity today. Uh, we have one of our World War II veterans, Technical Sergeant Orville Journey, who perished in 1944 in a C-47. We're gathered here because he's one of the American heroes. And having perished, we have a saying in the military that as long as the last person remembers, nobody has really died. And so we remember. He was a flight mechanic on a C-47, and the C-47s as a whole were built here in Oklahoma City and in California. The 5,300 C-47s, and to be clear, uh, his C-47 was not one built here, but it's symbolic given that here, at the Douglas plant in World War II. They produced 5,300 of them and we're going to make a presentation at the very site where they were built. Orville Journey was an American hero whose remains are in the Netherlands. The Netherlands remembers so that none of our heroes over there ever really dies. We have today Willem, Willem Vandersteen from the Netherlands Air Force who personally found the dog tags of Orville Journey. In the Netherlands, they keep a cemetery, the American Cemetery in the Netherlands, that has the graves of 8,291 American citizens who gave their lives to support an allied nation. That partnership is carried forward for 75 years and will carry forward for another 175 at least. They also keep a wall of the missing that is 1,722 people. I'm fascinated by numbers and, and I, I see how those two numbers added together constitute the depot workforce right now at the Oklahoma City Air Logistics Complex, almost one for one. The symbology is real. The occasion is very rare, and I don't want to steal the spotlight from Willem, so please come on up and let's do this presentation. Are you ready? Good morning, everybody. Uh, my name is Willem van State from the Netherlands, first lieutenant in the Royal Dutch Air Force. On this very special occasion, I'm honored to be standing here and say some words. Two years ago, we started with a group of volunteers with a research on the historic events of September and October 1944 in our village of Cremon in the south of the Netherlands. This is because this year, it's 75 years ago, that the liberation of the south of the Netherlands began. One of these events was the crash of the C-47 Skytrain bus job mine. On that fateful day, on the 23rd of September 1944, Bus job Mike crashed near our town of Kemonde after being damaged by heavy enemy anti-aircraft anti fire while resupplying Allied troops were dropped into the country just days earlier to begin the liberation of the Netherlands. The second Lieutenant Cyril Babchanik and Technical Sergeant Orville Bruce Journey died in this crash, while Captain Robert Carey, Lieutenant George Bennett and Sergeant Eldon Robbins survived and spent the rest of the war in the German prison camp. These five soldiers and their plane were just a small part of the vast armies that the United States and its allies brought together in World War II for the liberation of Europe. But they are symbolic and of the service and sacrifice of millions of men and women of that generation. During World War II, there were different markings and paintings on the fuselage of all these airplanes. On the nose of this airplane were the markings 3J. 3J were the markings of the 99th Troop Carrier Squadron, of which this C-47 Skytrain, nicknamed Bus Job Mike, was part of. Thinking back about this historic event on the 23rd of September, 1944, and the research we did on it, and are still doing, 3J also got a different meaning for me. After our discovery, the dog tag of Technical Sergeant Orville Bruce Journey on Saturday, the 21st of September, 2019. 3J also means three journeys. 
This not only refers to the surname of Bruce, but also to the three very important journeys that his dog tag has made in all these years. The first important journey is in March 1944, when the 99 Troop Tayer Squadron deployed to the UK. So Bruce and the rest of the crew of the bus job bike, after all the training in the USA, were sent out to do their important and dangerous job in World War II. The second important journey is on the 23rd of September, 1944, when a bus job bike crashed on Dutch soil near our town of Cape and unfortunately, in this crash, Technical Sergeant Bruce Journey and Second Lieutenant Sir Gopchenik were killed. The third important journey is divided into two parts. Namely, first, last Friday, the 15th of November, 2019, when after 75 years, the dog tag of Bruce Journey was reunited at his grave on the American cemetery in Markraten in the Netherlands. This was, unfortunately, just for a short while, because today I'm bringing it back to his brother, Dwight, and his family. So that will conclude the end of the three days. The circle is closed. When we were at Markraten Cemetery, I said some words on behalf of the crew of the bus job, Mike, and all the other US servicemen who were buried there. We do them great honor by remembering them and teaching their story to younger generations. When you go home, tell them of us and say, for your tomorrow, we gave our today. Mr. Dwight Journey, by handing over the dog tag of your brother Bruce to you, I want to honor you and also all the other family members of the crew of the bus job mine for the sacrifice that you made all those years ago. And our deepest respect and gratitude, of course, is also for the crew of the bus job Mike, for what they did 75 years ago for the liberation of the Netherlands. They will not be forgotten. Thank you. September 23rd, 1944. Secondly, uh, it is symbolic of the sacrifice of the near 400,000 U.S. troops that died in World War II. And third, it is symbolic of the dedication and the perseverance of the Dutch people in keeping alive the memory of devastation of the war. I want to read a quote that for me encapsulates everything that I know and believe about the military. This is from George Orwell. We sleep peacefully at night in our beds only because rough men are standing ready to do violence on our behalf. 
makes sense at all to me. So God bless America. God bless the Netherlands and their people, and especially the Lieutenant Banders team for making this extraordinary trip. And dare I say, God bless our president. Uh, <laughs> thank you so much for being here.